causes everything else to be. I want to tell you something else, also the third thing. We talked about string theory and the book called the Sefer Yitzira. Now, I'm not a mathematician or a physicist. I wish I were. I have, I love physics. I love what it talks about. But I stopped in order to become a rabbinical student. That was my choice. But I want to say something that, in dealing with it. In the process of string theory, I've been told that initially they thought of string theories having five dimensions, then they came up with a system of 11 dimensions, then 26 dimensions. So I just want to bring to your attention the following. According to the oldest books in the Kabbalah, there are 10 spherot. 10 spherot. But the 10 spherot aren't all that exist, but the 10 spherot do create five systems, because each of the 10 spheres divide into pairs, and these pairs create systems, which create, by the way, dimensions. And the ten spheres then create five dimensions, which is Olam, Shana, Nefesh. Olam is, is the three-dimensioned universe of space. Shana is time, that's the fourth dimension. And then there's a fifth dimension, Keter Malchus, which is called Nefesh, or soul, or will, or quality, quality of life, if you will but it's the fifth dimension. It's a real dimension of good and evil. There are five dimensions mentioned in the Sefer Yetzirah written almost 2,000 years ago, uh, supposedly written even early by Abraham, but it's at least 2,000 years old, and the Sefer Yetzirah talks about a five-dimensional universe. Ten spheres, together with the Ein Sof, ten spheres with the Ein Sof, which according to some, is the Keter equals 11, which is your 11 dimensions. And then the name of God that is most associated with the Creator is the Yud and the He and the Vav and the He. And anybody who knows uh, the numerology of Kabbalah knows that the Tetragrammaton is equal in number to 26, which is according to my sources, the latest um, form of string theory that there are 26 dimensions. And so string theory somehow or other parallels the knowledge of Kabbalah. Is that just, is that just a coincidence? You be the judge.